Hello everybody and welcome back to the world of Warcraft. This is episode number two in our Dwarf Paladin series. And um, last episode we just got to Karanos and we did a few quests, but we still have a lot to do. Let's take a look and see kind of where we left off. So looks like we have a couple quests that are sending us uh, a little bit east. Let's see here. We're gonna, let's refresh our memory. Use the rune of fire to destroy four constriction totems in the frost main front. Bring Razzle's spry sprocket eight gyro mechanic gears. Um, so we'll go ahead and take care of those. And then I'm not really sure where it's going to send us after that, but I guess we'll find out. Hope everyone is doing well. I'm doing fantastic. Had a pretty decent day. Just uploaded the first video early this morning. Got some positive feedback so far. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Hope you guys hopefully you guys are okay with us uh, you know not continuing the druid at least for now. Um, it's not to say it's I'm I'm done with it forever, but um, I'm definitely going to be focusing on this series for now. So what do we have to do with these totems? These totems right here, we have to burn them. So let's kill our way in. No, no, I think all we have to do is place one of these guys down next to the totem. Perfect. And we have to collect the gyro mechanic gears. I'm assuming those are on the ground. Somewhere. <laughs> I don't see anything on the ground that's that's sparkling. Something I would like to do today, too, is uh, check out possibly a pet battle of some kind, at least dabble with that content just a little bit so we can see what it's like. We haven't, I haven't done one in a long time. I'm also hoping we hit level, I'm gonna try and like hit level like 15, possibly, I don't know. It's hard to kind of gauge how fast we're actually going to be leveling in this series, but I think level 15 would be a decent goal. Alright, that's the totems. There's a hunter here doing the same quest, so that might be why we're not seeing the things on the ground. Alright, well, since we've got nothing else to do, let's try one of these pet battles. <laughs> Total Pokemon status. So, I have three pets. Um, well, maybe not three pets. I have, I have pets. Because I have done this before. My pet's level 5. Um, and the f creature we're fighting is level 1. So, we'll definitely be able to do this no problem um, but this is just kind of a, a refresher to remember exactly how to do it so we have one attack blazing yip deals 54 beast damage and reduces the targets next attack by 25 percent we have super bark barks with incredible power dealing 126 beast damage this attack cannot reduce the opponent's health below one so this is we can't we can't actually kill with this target or with this uh this this attack look adorable becoming unattackable for two rounds during this time puppies of the flame attack the opponent dealing 18 elemental damage each round so looks like our main attack is going to be blazing yip so i'm gonna go ahead and click that one so this is turn-based fighting just like pokemon is i'm gonna hit him with a super bark Oh, 
Oh, I do have three pets. So I have this guy and this guy. Incredibly easy. <laughs> it might be different if we were level, if we had a level one pet. Looks like we do get experience for doing those too. Not much at all, but. Someone's gonna have to kind of help me with that. If, if there's someone that's watching this that is familiar with the pet battle system and kind of what you get from it and what all that stuff, please fill me in. Because <laughs> I have no idea. That's, that's a part of the game I've never dabbled with, really. Oh, so, okay, those things aren't on the ground. We get them from killing these, these Frostmane uh, dudes. Okay, well, I guess we'll just kill everything. I could have sworn they- okay, so these guys, we don't- they don't drop them. I was gonna say, I could have sworn they weren't highlighted as a quest. Only some of them drop the gears that we need. There's one. Let's heal up. I want to uh, set my key bind. Normally, on, normally on healing classes, um, my like most used heal I Q bind uh, to Q, um, and it's really bothering me that that's not set. So I'm gonna try and figure that out. How do we do key binds? But imagine it's in edit mode, no? Maybe not. Macros, options, key bindings, there we go. Um, it is our action bar two, Q. Oh wait, action bar one, there we go. So now we all we have to do is press Q and we can cast flash of light. Slim pickings on these, uh, on these trolls that we need, jeez. Just leave me alone, man. Come on. I don't, I don't want none of that. I just, I'm just here for the gears. Oh, running into a little bit of lag. What is going on? That was weird. Pretty big lag spike right there. If that continues, we might have to stop temporarily. I've been running into some lag issues again, guys. Like. That's also part of the reason why I haven't been recording is my internet just all of a sudden just started becoming really bad and I have no idea why. And I've had the techs out here to look at things multiple times and no one seems to fix it and I'm at a loss at this point, but we may be moving here in a couple months so I'm, that's why I'm kind of just trying to power through it because it seems like it might be an issue with our house. Or it could just be my computer. I don't know. The, the texts don't seem to know what the hell's going on. They've replaced several different things and told me that I'm crazy, pretty much. <laughs> so, I'm like, I'm experiencing mass packet loss on my computer. Like, I can see it. Like, I run a ping test and I'm getting I'm sometimes like 12-13% packet loss. But for some reason, 
Everything else looks good on their end. Okay, so there is more over here. That's good. And you may have noticed in the last episode, guys, is I did keep a lot of the footage in. I stopped. I didn't cut as much. Um, and you guys will have to let me know, like, your feedback on that. Um, I'm more than happy to do the jump cuts and stuff like that. And, um, the issue with that is, is, like, it does take a lot more time to edit. Um, a significantly amount of, like, longer time to edit those videos when I do do that versus leaving everything in. So I would technically probably be able to get content out faster if I didn't have to do that, but I personally feel like it makes the video a lot more straight to the point by doing it. And um, you know, if it's if it's something you guys would rather have, then 100% I'm down um, and I'll make the videos like that going forward. You guys will have to let me know. Like, I'd love to hear your feedback on that, guys. If we do the jump cuts and stuff like that, then what that means is I usually play for, like, two hours. Because um, I'm usually cutting out about an hour's worth of footage just from the traveling and walking and stuff like that. Um, so I usually play for, like, two hours. And I'm able to get quite a bit more accomplished. Like in the videos that you guys watch, you'll see that I'm getting a lot more levels. A lot of, a lot more things are happening um, because of that. But in the videos, like the last one we did for the Dwarf Paladin, we only got from level 1 through 9. And I still cut out a little bit of stuff, but not... I, I, for the most part, I kept everything in there. And these things are kind of a pain to find. It looks like, I'm, looks like I'm out of the highlighted area, so let's travel back this direction. And see if we can find a few more of the guys we need. Okay, looks like I got it here. I just killed this guy. And I'm so sorry, I just realized that I was using my noisy mechanical keyboard to record this video. <laughs> my bad. You guys were probably hearing uh, a lot of clicking there. You probably still hear it from my mouse, but that is uh, unavoidable. The keyboard, I can just use my uh, my other keyboard that's not loud. But yeah, uh, we're done with that quest finally. Let's uh, head back, let's turn this in, or these two in, and let's see where it sends us next. I can't remember if there's quests that go down here, or if it's sending us just straight east uh, of Dunmoreau now, but we'll see. Alright, talking to Captain Theron. Finally, some good news from the Frostmane Front. I'll have the Mountaineers press their attack immediately. Now we must signal our gnomish allies at Steel Grill to start their advance. Get a new weapon. 1 to 3 damage, it's a little bit better. All the weapons that we're coming across really aren't that much. Like they're all like 1 damage. It's, it's, the scaling in this game is very strange to me. I don't know, I haven't quite figured it out yet. Can I help you? These pilots can't wait to get back into their steam tanks and take to the field again. Let's not let them down. Off and away. These gyro mechanic gears are perfect. These two tank pilots are well on their way to being back in the fight. Alrighty then. And boom, that's level 10. So view our specialization. So we have three choices. We can go down the holy tree, the protection tree, and the retribution retribution tree. Protection obviously is a tank spec. 
Holy is obviously a healing spec, and Retribution is more of a DPS spec. I want to take a look at the sample abilities. So for Holy, they have Holy Shock uh, and Beacon of Light. And I think, do we? I don't know if we get these right out of the gate or if these are just giving you an example of some of the abilities that you do get if you go down the, the spec, but Holy Shock has been in the game forever. Uh, it's a really fun spell. So is Beacon of Light. We get Avenger's Shield if we go down Protection, which is very fun to use. Ardent Defender reduces all damage you take by 20% for 8 seconds, so a defensive cooldown. But we do get Templar's Verdict in Retribution and Wake of Ashes. Lash out at your enemies, dealing 140 radiant damage to all enemies within 14 yards in front of you and reducing their movement speed by 50% for 9 seconds. Uh, Templar's Verdict unleashes a powerful weapon strike that deals 65 holy damage to an enemy target. So I think for now, um, can we do dungeons at level 10 now? I think we, yeah, we can, wow. So if we wanted to, we could like queue up for like, we could queue up for a dungeon and do like holy or prot, but we have to go speak to Chromie to set Chromie time to Cataclysm so that we have all of these, like all of these zones will scale to us and then we can start running the, the Cataclysm dungeons that are old world. I'm going to go ret for now. My plan is I'd like to kind of dabble in all three of the specs since switching is pretty easy. And our first talent we get is a Paladin Point talent. And our options are Lay on Hands, which definitely I kind of want to take. Uh, we get it Aura of the Resolute. So we get Devotion Aura or Consecration Aura. Obduracy, speed increase by 2% and damage taken from an area effect attacks reduced by 2%. Turn evil, I don't really want to take right now. Greater judgment, judgment causes the target to take 20% increased damage from your next holy power ability. That might be pretty good too. And divine steed is kind of more of like a, you know, a, an escape spell uh leap onto the top of your charger for four seconds increasing movement speed by 100 percent usable while indoors or in combat so we can pretty much use that anywhere we want to and it'll put us on our mount and shoot us uh, in the direction that we want to go for four seconds so good escaping spell i think i'm gonna go ahead and take just based off the experience that i've had in this game thus far and the mobs hit pretty hard um, especially with no heirloom. So I'm going to take Lay on Hands oh, or Devotion Aura. Reducing damage by 3%. This is a 10 minute cooldown. I'm going to take Lay on Hands. I feel like that's a, that's a better move. Just, uh, just kind of an oh crap button. A little safety net for us. We need to go get our mount as well. Now, I do have mounts. Do we automatically get the training? So, yeah, we automatically just learn mount. I have quite a bit of mounts, like not a crazy amount or anything by any means, but I do have a few options to choose from. But since we are a pally, um, I'm going to ride the warhorse. This is the mount that paladins get. And I feel like it's the most paladin fitting, so I'm gonna ride this. Let's talk to Captain Theron again. With your help, we managed to push toward Frostmane Retreat. Our forces will soon be in position to dwindle down the Frostmane Trolls reserves um, and leaving their village open to attack. That's where the Normorgan Covert Ops team comes in. Their technicians have figured out a way to deploy operatives Operatives behind enemy lines without alerting the Frostmanes to our presence. Head to Steel Grill's Depot, just northeast of town, and speak with Delber Cranktoggle. He'll tell you more about it. Uh, northeast is this direction. 
And yeah, it looks like it's gonna send us east moving forward. Open the spell book to add your new abilities. So we need to put Templar's Verdict on here. Sounds like we need to get rid of possibly that spell because we're not going to really be using it anymore if we're switching to a two-hander weapon. We also need to find a two-hander weapon. That would help. Uh, we also get Divine Protection. Divine Shield. Uh, this is like another forbearance ability, so I'm gonna put those over there for now. I'm gonna put my mount over here so I don't get confused. So these are my defensives. Actually, we'll do this. There we go. And then we got my heels over here. Okay, that'll work for now. Blessing of Freedom blesses a party or remember granting immunity to movement impairing effects for eight seconds. So we'll put our buffs over here on this side. Hammer of Wrath hurls a divine hammer that strikes an enemy for 59 holy damage only usable on enemies that have less than 20% health. We have so many abilities, jeez louise. Let's put Consecration and the Stun up there. Just in case, let's have the Taunt on our bar, just in case like we're in a dungeon or something and we need to use it. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. We'll figure out more of a solid placement for all of our abilities once we kind of start really getting the feel for the class and what we're going to be using on a regular basis. Good day to you. Ah, you must be the dwarf that Captain Theron said he'd be sending. I've already used the de deploy a Tron to get most of the Covert Ops team into position at Frostman Retreat. They're just waiting on your arrival. Off and away. The Cataclysm has brought our enemies closer to home, so the Chief of Nomorgan Covert Operations asked me to build a device to dispatch personnel quickly and quietly to any corner of Dunmoreau. Behold, the ultra-safe personal launcher. With a jolt of electricity and the benefit of a VLD parachute system, uh, that's a very late deployment for your for your for you layman. This baby will this baby will get you to to the front in no time. Just hop aboard and prepare for flight. Slamp Wobble Cog will be waiting for you in the drop zone. Very good. That's all we have to do is just walk in there. All right, here we go. Oh, we're flying. Where's the parachute? Okay, yeah. He wasn't kidding. Kind of late parachute there. Okay, here's Slamp Wobblecog, who we need to talk to. Greetings! Don't worry. The feeling of being zapped won't stay with you for more than a few minutes. All in all, it's not a bad way to get where you're going. That parachute system needs some work, though. Very late deployment, indeed. Sometimes too late. Anyway, we have a mission to carry out. <laughs> you have a great day now. The Frostmane Chieftain died in the initial Trog onslaught, but they've been led by a well-respected warrior ever since. Batok, the Berserker, was the one who organized the Frostmane Retreat, the construction of the new village, and the strikes against Karanos and the Mountaineers. If we remove Batok, the Frostmane's organization should crumble, leaving the Mountaineers free to pick off the survivors. Batok will be in the village just east of here. Seeing you. Right. And do we? Yeah, no, we already equipped that belt. I was like, I thought we had a piece of gear that we needed to equip, but we don't. Delver's technicians have been up day and night helping us prepare for this strike. Aside from the the built from building and tuning the personnel launcher, his men have prepared the covert operations air wing for a strike on Frostman retreat. They'll be waiting for a signal to begin their strikes. Take this flare with you, and set it off near the cluster of buildings at the northern end of the village. 
and the buildings at the southern end of the village. The flying machines will make a quick strike at each site. Be seeing you. Hmm, interesting. We need to halt the construction on this Frostmain village. If we let them get too entrenched, it will be more difficult to keep them from settling here permanently. It's time to give those brutes a gnome's eye view of the world. Take this gnomish viewpoint equalizer and use it on the Frostmain builders to bring them down to our level. They won't be able to lift their tools and construction will come to a standstill. You have a great day now. So we gotta shrink some trolls. Uh, and kill a few things. Are these the guys? Yeah, these are the guys we need to shrink. So these attacks, or the Templar's Verdict requires a two-handed weapon. So we need to find a two-handed weapon stat. I'm wondering if we can go to the auction house and grab one. And I think I'm missing ore too. Like we're walking by, but I'm not paying attention. The problem is, is the the icon on the minimap looks different than what I'm used to. So I think I'm missing it. Like I'm so used to little like solid bold dots like this that show up for the mining nodes, and it's showing up as like an icon that's different. <laughs> I'm not used to it, used to it, so I'm not paying as much attention. I don't think. But we'll try and we'll try and be better at that. It's the last one we need to shrink. Oh yeah, we're rocking now. That spell's awesome, that hammer of wrath. Oh, this guy just went beast mode. Guys, 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 this is so much better than the druid, in my personal opinion. Jesus, I'm able to take out, like, three guys at once, no, like, easy. With the druid, I was dying. <laughs> like, I stood no chance. And like I said, I, I was probably playing it completely wrong, but... Maybe I just need, need to get good. That would help. All right, we just got to set this off here. And we'll go to the other little encampment over here and we'll set the other one off. There we go. And that was all three. Let's get these turned in. Yeah, we, I mean, we have two gold. I don't. I mean, I'm sure inflation is real. I wonder if we could find a, a two-handed weapon, like a just a cheap one, on the auction house. We might head over to Iron Forge in just a minute and check that out. Right. Be seeing you. Captain Theron asked me to pass along his thanks for your help and congratulations on a successful mission. He and his men are cleaning up the last of the trolls and tending to the wounded. He also wanted me to ask you to check out reports about troll raids on the Amberstill Ranch to the north. Ask for Sergeant Flinthammer when you arrive. You have a great day now. So it's sending us further east. Um, before we do that though, I would like to, you know what? I'm tempted to go to Ironforge, but I know as soon as I go there and buy a weapon, we're going to get one. So I'm going to hold off. But we're just going to go east. We'll, we can definitely make do with the attacks we have available right now. And we could even switch to prot, but I like... I like all the... the I like this. I don't know. If, do we get this in any spec? I don't know if we do. I would imagine we do. Because it's not a... Retribution spell. I don't know. I just I'm comfortable where we're at right now. I don't want to change anything. I'm I'm gonna stick it out until we get a two-handed weapon. Let's equip these new boots. 
that look literally exactly the same, just a different color. There are a few things I want to put on the auction house though, so we will have to make a trip to Ironforge relatively soon. What's on your mind? So you're the one who's been helping Captain Theron beat back the Frostmane trolls. I've seen your name in the reports. It's good to finally meet you. You might be just the paladin we need to help secure this ranch. Good. How are you? It's 50 quests completed. The reports I'm sending Captain Theron can't really convey the amount of trouble the Frostmanes have created for us. Your assault on the village has started to relieve some of the pressure. The raids are still frequent, but the trolls don't have the numbers they once did. Even so, my men are tried, are tired, and their mor morale is flagging. Would you help keep us, help us keep watch for the Frostman Raiders? You could turn up and turn up at any time. See you soon. What can I do for you? So we just got to defend this raid. It looks like it's about to ground. take place. As it is, there are barely enough of us to keep them from taking everything. It, they just take the rams and go. The herd can't take any more. One of the mountaineers has seen something. Keep your eyes open. Seem to be phased. Come back, Fluffy. <laughs> Chasing a rabbit. How long do we wait? How long does this take, dude? Can we move our... I want to see if we can move these. I don't like those there. I like them where they originally were. Wait, cancel. Save. Yeah, I like I like that better. And I also don't really like having a third bar, but Can we get rid of it? This is one, two, three. Yeah, there we go. And the spells that we did have on our bar. Now I'm forgetting what they were. <laughs> oh no. What did we have on our bar? Oh, it was a uh, hammer of justice and uh, consecration. No? Healing. Healing abilities. So let's do this. Let's go to back to key bindings. Let's go to action bar. Be able to put flash of light there. We'll just keep uh, the consecration on our bar. I don't know if this quest is glitched or what the heck is going on with it, but it like it phased well, us, and now now we can't. Do we have to abandon it and re grab it? Great to meet you. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Yeah. Here we go. It's working now. I can 
Ein Attack hat. Okay, can we can we fight him? Yes, we can. Drop a consecration down. Defended. What's on your mind? With your sh with your help, we've managed to weaken the raiders considerably. They haven't suffered uh, suffered such losses since the raids began. Now is the time to press our advantage. Keep your feet on the ground. How are you? We heard the cries in the middle of the night. Then this morning, sure enough, the herd was missing two rams. That dastardly beast known as Vagosh has been preying on our livelihood. With Ironforge troops already spread thin, there is no one to keep Valgosh at bay. Perhaps you are brave enough to seek out the beast and slay him. Bring me one of his fangs and I will reward, reward, I will reward you. Vagosh lurks just above the ranch here, but be warned, he is deadly. And um, I remember this quest. This quest has been in the game for a while. Great to meet you. The rams we raise and train here at Amberstill Ranch have long been the mounts of choice for Dunmoreau's mountaineers. A, there, there's a few few here, but not enough to guard my family and all the animals. A few brave Frostman raiders have taken to stealing our rams under the covert, or the cover of the night, taking them south into the ten, Tundred Hills. Would you be willing to help return them? You'll need to get fairly close to them and then give a sharp whistle to get their attention. Their training will take over from there. Recover six stolen rams from the Tundred Hills by using Slash Whistle. So let's go up here. We'll get uh, Vagosh. Vagosh, however you say his name. Remember to keep an eye out for Copper Veins. Oh, and we have an unspent talent point as well. Let's go ahead and take Blade of Justice, since that's the only option. Pierce an enemy with a Blade of Light, dealing 81 holy damage. Oh, we just keep getting attacks. It's crazy. Just so many different attacks. Our bars are definitely going to fill up quick. We're definitely going to need that other bar that we took off. Okay, we got the fang. I don't know why I'm still walking. We have a mount now. Just don't think I'm used to having it at level 10. <laughs> Welcome. Vagash still terrorizes the herd. Please help us by killing the wretched beast. Keep your feet on the ground. Very well done. Varen will be so happy when he hears the good news. To kill Valgosh is no easy task. I imagine one day you'll be fighting alongside the King King Magni's men on the Alliance front. Be good. And we got new bracers and a new chest piece. Once again, same color or same same look, same style, different color. These must be the rams we need. Slash whistle. Okay, that worked. Do it again. I'm 
gonna be dodging bears the whole time, it looks like. Oh, we were too far away for that. Let's kill this guy first. Slash whistle. Okay, we're done. I, I'm not gonna lie, that's a pretty, uh, pretty dumb quest. I guess you could make like a slash whistle macro or something, and it would be super easy, but that's kind of dumb. Look man, I'm just passing through. I guess you want to die. We need to sell. Attention. The rams you rescued have made their way back into the pen. I've got members of the family on family on a day and night watch now. Those trolls won't take us by surprise again. Safe travels. Let's see what level are we? We're level eleven. We're making pretty decent progress. No. Thank you again for all your help here, Sourbeard. I have a cousin who used to work in the mines beneath the gold bolar quarry. But he hasn't been able to work since Trogs flooded into the mines and took control. The quarry and its camp are just to the southeast of the ranch. Would you be willing to check in and with the foreman there and see if there's anything to be done? Yeah, we're, we're, looks like we're headed that way anyway. There's a quest, uh... Oh, that's the Battle for Azeroth Tides of War quest. Something that I would like to do eventually is I would like to create a new character for this is for a separate series. Um, it's just kind of an idea I had and see what it was like to be like a new player in the game and go through, you know, potentially even like I, I would even be willing to like make a whole new brand new account for this. Um, and just see what the game is like and, and level a character from one to max level and and see what it would be like because I know when you have a new account I think it sends you to the battle for Azeroth stuff and like I feel like you have an entirely different game experience than what we're having here because it's forcing you to do certain things just to see what it's like because I'm curious what it's like for new people starting this game This place has a flight path. What can I do for you? I want to take a look at the quest rewards from these quests real quick Jeez. before we accept them. We'll come back and What's read them later. Let's Watch turn in the help back. for Corey quest. Sergeant Flinthammer, I'm not familiar with the name, but hey, there is a there is a Flinthammer among the miners. He's one of the ones lucky enough to make it out of the mine, but most of my men are all are all still trapped down there. Off with you. So we don't get anything from that quest. I just want to see if we're able to get a weapon. Bracers and a bag. The bag will be nice. Um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a trip to Ironforge. Let's go ahead and fly. Since there is a Flight Master right here, we'll go ahead and fly. I want to uh, be able to put these things on the auction house. All the crafting regents. Um, the copper, all that stuff, and I also want to see if we can potentially buy a two-handed weapon. Um, because I feel like the damage will be better that one, if we do have one, just because that'll open up Templar's Verdict for us. So, let's go do that real quick. 
um, and I'll meet you guys at the auction house in just a second. Alright guys, so we made it to the auction house. We are here. Um, if you're brand new to the game or never played WoW before, this is one of the auction houses in Iron... is the auction house in Ironforge. And uh, all we have to do is talk to this one of these people. And I always forget that the auction house in retail is so much different than it is in classic because it's basically like it's much easier. Um, all we have to do really is drag the item that we want to sell in here and it'll tell us the price that we're going to set it at. Now I think we can increase the price. Um, but by default I think that it just gives you like the... I'm not really sure exactly how it works to be honest. but. If we leave it blank, it generates the price for us that it'll probably sell at. We can increase the price, but that just means it'll take longer to sell, I think. And if anyone prices it below you, theirs are going to sell first. So, looks like we're going to get a gold 55 from the Tiger's Eye. We'll see if it actually sells. I'll be curious. 89 silver for that guy. Let's put the beer back. Uh, 4,097 gold. Jeez Louise. If that sells, we'll be, we'll be really good spot. 23 silver for that one. 2 gold. I still haven't been skinning. That's, another, that's the other thing. Is we, I don't know what... We haven't really killed anything that we can skin, I don't think, but... We really need to get better at that. Let's put our linen cloth up there. That is dirt cheap. Put our mana potion up there. Also dirt cheap. Um, that's about it. That's really all we can sell. So we have a good amount on the auction house right now. Let's see if we can... We have three gold currently. Let's see if we can grab a two-handed weapon. Maybe a two-handed mace. Um, and we'll look at price. We'll go from the lowest. The lowest that I see... Level range. We'll do level 10 through 12. Okay, we can't afford that at all. Not even close. Oh, we just sold our linen cloth. So people do buy that. I'm surprised. Um, but we need to find a way to come up with some gold in order to buy the weapons. So blacksmithing actually probably would have been a good call for us. Because then we could have made weapons. Let's look at two-handed swords. Same deal here. I wonder if we can change this to one, level 1 through 12. And I wonder if it makes any difference. It does not make any difference. Even like a bronze greatsword. Which has like been in the game since classic era. That's 299 gold. That is insane. Axes? Here's an axe for 3 gold. We could afford that. Let's go! There we go. That's like our literally all of our gold. Can we use axes? Yeah, we can. Alright, cool. We found something. I want to take a look one more time at our auctions. I want to see what's sold. So right now we have incoming 1 gold from the linen cloth. We have 30 silver and 24 silver. So almost two gold incoming currently, just from those auctions we just threw up there. So not too, not too shabby. I'm gonna head over to this mailbox and grab. There's this little mail icon up here that's telling us we got mail. So let's go grab that axe, and then we'll go ahead and equip it. Nice. Good deal. Um, I don't think there's like weapon skill or anything like this, so we don't have to worry about it not doing any damage at first or having to skill it up. So we can just put it to use right away. 
And let's fly back to the wherever we just were was the quarry. And we'll get those quests and we'll we'll get started there. All right, we made it back. Um, and we need to pick up those, what is it? Two or three quests? Yeah, three quests here. Hi. As a member of the Senate and the Explorers League, I've taken it upon myself to investigate conditions at the quarry. The Trogs have run wild. They've made a mess of the gold laurel quarry. As we dug deep into the earth, they poured out, destroying our equipment and trapping many of the miners below the ground. We have to get them out of here. I've had I, I've had mages working overtime to enchant these runes of return. If you can get them to the trapped miners, they can return to the service in safety. See you soon. Get a green belt from it. That'll be an upgrade for us. How are ya? Those light blasted trogs turning my work site into a wreck. Look at that. There goes another barrel of powder. Oh, I wish I could go down there and wring every one of their scrawny little necks. I want to kill them all. This can't be good for my health. All this stress and anger. What have they left me with? Nothing. I'd kill them myself, but my aim's no good anymore. You go into the quarry and kill some of the filthy buggers. I'll pay you. Just hurt them. Kill them. Off with you. You get 71 silver from that quest. That's almost a gold right there. What can I do for you? Mining wasn't the only thing going on in the quarry, you know. I led a team of Explorers League, Explorers League excavators recovering priceless ancient artifacts. I managed to escape, but my colleagues were much deeper in the mine and didn't survive the initial trog attack. They took great pride in their work, and they risked their lives to learn more of our history. If you're going into the mines, take this pick with you and see if you can find anything the digs, the digs the prospector started. Find anything in the digs the prospector started. What gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so three quests to go into this, uh, this mine here. Here's one of the frozen artifacts. Ooh, yeah. Oh, Templar's Verdict. Oh, let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very satisfying. Alright, let's just kill everything in sight. That's super easy. This is a blast, honestly. And flash of light heals for a ton. Get out of here, man. Run for your life. So, obviously, with Templar's Verdict, that's our, uh... That, that, that uses three Holy Power. So, Crusader Strike builds our Holy Power. Uh, judgment doesn't take any holy power. That takes mana. Templar's Verdict does spend our holy power. Hammer of Wrath generates one holy power. And so does Blade of Justice. So they're really only the spell that we use that... I'm going to get rid of that because we're not using shields anymore. 
the the only spell that we really use holy power with is templar's verdict so the goal is to stack holy power up to three stacks and then unleash with a uh, with a strong uh, templar's verdict very simple Well, it looks like uh, Judgment does also give us a stack of Holy Power. Okay, that's it for the artifacts. Here's a copper vein. Let's grab that as well. Looks like there's another copper vein in here too. somewhere oh you know what maybe it is above us that's what it looks like to me there's a little arrow pointing up so it's got to be above us I'm, it's looking like there's another one in here though right here yep I feel very powerful powerful on the paladin. I feel like much stronger than I did on the druid. I, I don't know what was up with it. I don't know what I was doing wrong. I did re-watch uh, the, I think the last episode or one of the episodes I put out on the druid more recently. And someone mentioned that I wasn't using stealth. And uh, I think that's where what, what I was doing wrong is I wasn't ever going in stealth. So that could be what I was doing wrong. Like, it seems like you needed to fight every fight, like, starting in stealth, and... I don't know, I've never really jived with stealth classes, to be honest. Like, I've never... Like, rogue and stuff, I've never really... clicked with. So, and it, you know... If you're a druid and you're a rogue fan, like, go for it, man. Like, I just don't think that the druid was really for me. I stopped playing the shaman that we played just because I, I wasn't really enjoying it. But I, in comparison to the druid, like, the shaman was a blast. <laughs> so, I was really trying to hang on to the druid series because it was, I, I, I knew that it was something you guys were enjoying. But unfortunately, unfortunately I just wasn't. Okay, is there more? Is there a different way we can go up here? We need more of the skull thumpers. And I'm only seeing bone snappers. I don't know, but here's that vein we were looking for. What is this? Hammer spine? Is this a rare? Yeah, it had to have been a rare. And look at that. We get a two-hand weapon for free. If we would have just held out for a little bit longer, I knew... Did I not call that? Did I not call that? <laughs> Ridiculous, man. And I think it's better. Three strength, three stamina. Well, no, actually. Well, this gives us one more strength. Dang. 
Uh, the pants are definitely a huge upgrade for us, though. Look at that. And... Do we want to trade the one strength for, like... Three stam, three crit? Versatility? No. I think we're better off sticking with the axe. We need to find these last four uh, skull thumpers, though. And I'm not seeing them. Okay, so I found a few. It looks like they're all outside, so that was the problem. We needed to kill those first. We did it. You got my attention. Safe travel. Hi. What a relief. I'm glad to see that you were able to save so many miners. I will make sure that their families are notified immediately. The Senate will know of your role in winning back the mines. Let's equip that sweet green belt. Great to meet you. Safe travel. Thank you for recovering these artifacts. I will see it see to it that they are displayed in the Iron Forge Museum along with the story of those who died to recover them. See you soon. And we'll take those green bracers. Big upgrade for us, and uh, it automatically equipped that bag, so that's pretty sweet. And we got level 12. We did just get a new talent. Um, I think that I want... Ooh, what's this? Each holy power spent reduces the remaining cooldown on Hammer of Justice. Oh, that's not what I thought it was. Um, cleanse Toxins. I think I'm going to take the Auras of the Resolute. That'll open up some more auras for us, um, including Devotion Aura, which will give us a little bit more uh, damage reduction. What's on your mind? You've been a great help in securing the mines and, and rescuing the trapped miners. The Senate will be heartened to hear that you and Captain Theron's Mountaineers have made progress in securing Dem Moreau. What worries me is that I haven't seen any reports from Sergeant Barum and his de detachment. They were sent east along the road toward Helm's Bed Lake in order to set up a small outpo outpost. Would you go to Barum's post and check in on the sergeant? Watch your back. Where's that at? So, further east. So it looks like it's kind of sending, sending us toward Loch Modan. I guess we can kill some wool or some lepers and stuff on the way and get some skinning in. I 
see a mine below us. So it turns gray if it's on a whole nother, like if it's below you in a cave, it'll be gray. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, I'm just trying to kill as much as we can on our way, just so that we get some skinning in. I'll level it up a little bit. Uh, this direction. We're almost there anyway. Okay, it's a good thing that the senator didn't come out here on his own. It's dangerous, and we're going to need all the help we can get to this, get the situation under control. Be good. Well met. Kurgorn tells me the cataclysm upset the balance of the elements all over the world. Helmsbed Lake to the south used to be beautiful and tranquil, but it is now overrun with agitated water elementals. When they started to leave the confines of the lake, I sent my troops in to keep them busy but most have been frozen in blocks of ice. If we can't break them free, they have a good chance of recovering. Or no, if we can break them free, they have a good chance of recovering. I cannot spare the men for a second expedition out onto the lake. Would you be willing to try? Yeah. And we'll succeed. Hopefully. <laughs> this dwarf looks sick. Look at this guy. Is it like a shaman? No. Dwarf shaman would be cool. I can't wait for Cataclysm to come out in Classic, because I'm definitely going to roll a, uh, a dwarf shaman. The elements are in turmoil, Paladin. The Cataclysm stirred up the long, dormant water spirits of Helm's Bed Lake, just to the south. They're angry, confused, and unwilling to hear my pleas. I have tried everything I know to calm them, to, per to persuade them to stop lashing out and attacking the Sar sergeant's mountaineers. It pains me to say this, but no other options remain. We must kill the elementals. See you soon. All right then. Breaking an ice and killing elementals. Ooh, what was that? I just like got wings for a second. What was that? Was that Templar's verdict? I'm curious. I'm gonna try that again and see what see if we get wings. I never noticed that the first few times. Yeah, we do get wings. That's sick. This class really has come a long way, because <laughs> in uh, Vanilla WoW, they were it was the rotation for paladins was literally just like auto attack and, and a single judgment. Like this is how you would play paladin. Here, I'll do it. <laughs> but still not as cool.
but believe it or not, um, I actually still like Paladins even in vanilla. You've done it. The Mountaineers are returning to camp and our medics will have their hands full. We are all in your debt, Sourbeard. Well gold is starting to crank up now. Now we're getting a gold apiece. It is never easy to uh, countenance violence against the very elements whose powers I wield, but sometimes there is no other solution. Our duty to the people of Dunmoreau comes first. Your feet on the ground. What can I do for you? A cadre of Dark Iron spies have taken over Iron Band's compound to the south, beyond Helm's Bed Lake. The Mountaineers are normally able to keep them from getting into Dunmoreau, but everything is in disarray right now. The Dark Iron Dwarves would be fools if they didn't take advantage of the chaos. We have to find out what they're planning and stop them before they do any damage. Will you see if you can discover what they're doing down at Iron Man's compound? See you soon. And that looks like it's south. Let's see, how are we doing on time? It looks like we're running a little over. Um, so we're going to have to probably call it here uh, for this episode, guys. Um, we didn't quite get to where we wanted to I I was I wanted to try 15 but um, you know you can only do so much in an hour's time so here we are <laughs> but um, yeah that, I mean we got we got a good amount done anyway uh, next episode we'll finish off dumb Moreau. we'll move uh, into lock modan um, I believe and uh, from there, we'll maybe go into Westfall, or not Westfall, what is it, uh, Wetlands. Um, and we'll kind of just follow the sa same similar path that we're kind of, you know, recommended to go down um, as a, you know, classic start. Um, and then after Wetlands, I'm not sure. Well, we might even end up going somewhere else, you know. You guys let me know. Let me know what you guys want to see. Um I want you guys to kind of interact and, and choose where you want to see love, you know, us level or quest and, and we can go from there. I mean, the whole, we can go anywhere in the whole world. It's all scaled from 1 to 60. So, yeah, just let me know. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you all. Um, every, one last, every last one of you, I, I thank you guys so much for your continued support. Um, and I will see you guys in the next next video. Stay safe out there. Peace out, guys.